Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket for Tuesday, the 2nd of August. Today on the show, not Star Wars Battlefront, whale penises, and trolling in games. Alright, here's what's been making headlines, and first up, Lucasfilm has taken the Star Wars out of a fan-made Battlefront 3 game. The team at Frontwire Studios have been working on Battlefront Galaxy in Turmoil since the start of the year, when an incomplete build of the officially licensed and subsequently cancelled Battlefront 3 leaked to Reddit. According to Frontwire president Tony Romanelli, all was travelling smoothly until June 22nd, when the studio received a letter from Lucasfilm requesting that they quote, halt production of Galaxy in Turmoil with any Star Wars related IP at once! The following week, Romanelli had a meeting with Lucasfilm executives to discuss a solution, but with Lucasfilm's current partnership with EA, it was never going to happen. Romanelli said that, quote, While I and our attorneys still believe we fall under the fair use law, I have no desire to get into any type of legal battle with Lucasfilm. As a result, the Galaxy in Turmoil project will strip itself of all Star Wars content and continue as a Battlefront-inspired title instead. Next up, and the studio behind the painfully dull Ghostbusters game has filed for bankruptcy. It's a sad story. Developer Fireforge Games has ceased operations and is currently undergoing liquidation of its assets after finding itself in at least $12 million worth of debt. Prior to the release of the critically panned Ghostbusters, the studio spent five years starting and never finishing projects. Those false starts, alongside a number of apparently dodgy business dealings, meant that Ghostbusters needed to be a big success if they were to survive. And my word, was Ghostbusters anything but a success. And now for a few quickfire headlines. Dying Light developer Techland have announced that they're working on a farming sim, Pure Farming 17 The Simulator. Looks like it's going to be the sexiest grain harvester video games has to offer. Let's hope for some zombie DLC. Not because I like zombies, but running them down in a combine would be fun and great for soil fertility. Outlast 2 has been delayed until the start of 2017. Developer Red Barrels apologized for the delay, but they said they'd use the extra time wisely. Quote, we promise Outlast 2 will scare the crap out of you. Which, if I'm standing in a field, will also be great for soil fertility. And PS4 owners will get a chance to play Inside soon. According to VG247, the game will launch on the platform at the end of August. All right, that's the news. Think of the day. My fellow pocketeers, I say unto you, it's time for thinking about how we as gamers can make games even more awesome. Players, coders, artists and designers, we need you, for united we sit. It's time, people. It's time for thing of the day. Over to you, Nick. Master Chief, meet Captain Ahab. A new Halo 5 map and mode by Captain Direwolf sees an army of sailors taking on the great white whale, Moby Dick. I will now read a short passage from Herman Melville's masterpiece as we watch iCampher's gameplay of the mode. All that most maddens and torments, all that stirs up the lees of things, all truth with malice in it, all that cracks the sinews and cakes the brain, all the subtle demonisms of life and thought, all evil to crazy Ahab were visibly personified and made practically assailable in... Moby Dick. Oh, oh, no. oh he's back, he's back. <laughs> Hit the beast with the harpoon. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. No, oh, no, no, no! I'm oh, still alive somehow. Oh. It's time for Thing of the Day. Over to you, Nick. I'm joined now by TV's Bajo for our talk through. Hey! Hey, I'm Bajo and I'm working the pocket! That's kind of the line. Our talk through comes in from Travesty James, who says, What is the best way to handle trolling and harassment when playing online? Mm. You were brought in because not only have you been a victim of trolling, mm. you're also world renowned troller, mm -hmm. but in sort of like a nice way. That is on my business card. Yeah. World renowned <laughs> troller. Brackets, but in a nice way. Yeah, but I also get trolled a lot. It's a long business card, I yeah. should get new ones. Yeah. yeah, well there's two types of trolling, mm -hmm. as I see it. Mm -hmm. There's the first type of trolling, which is my favorite type, which is the good type, and the media has 
bash this word up. So like, I put a poster up with my face on it and people go, oh, you're trolling. And some people think it's bad, but no, that's the good kind of trolling, where it's, you're just pranking, you're pranky yanking around the place. And then there's the bad kind of trolling, which is mean and makes me sad and cry in the shower and have arguments in the shower. Is this why you were eating people. donuts in the shower? Or like <laughs> just to bury your sorrows? No, you realize we're talking about video games, right? Oh you yeah. put a poster of yourself in a video game. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah. My, my greatest troll yet, <laughs> replacing all the textures and Counter Strike with your face. Uh, I mean, you and I, you and I both play online games. Yeah. So you you play quite a bit of Counter Strike, infamous mm. for a horrible community. Yeah. And I play quite a bit of Dota, infamous for a horrible community. Yeah. Now, you know, how are you dealing with people who who are ass hats to you? Yeah, well, you know, it, it is always difficult. Like, mm. I'm a 35.8 year old man. Yeah. And it is still difficult dealing with the trolls. And I've said this before, I think even on Pocket, you know, the people who are trolling me didn't exist when I first started playing Counter Strike. They're yeah. so young. Yeah. And I'm, I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm an adult guy. And I finish and I'm like, because I feel sad. Because <laughs> 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 in the shower. Because they say things like, you gay. Mm. And like, gay isn't a bad word, mm. but it's the, the way they do it and the way they say it and the way they make you feel by that. And and they pile on like all these other things. They start like knocking down your skills, you yeah. know. You'll get in front of them, they might shoot you a little bit in Counter Strike. That happens a lot. That's you, not and, good. and they won't get a penalty because they're just shooting you a little bit, but like that means you have less health. So when you go out there, you're at a disadvantage. But if you shoot them, then you get kicked. You do holes. it three times, you get banned. So it's like, oh, you, you just like you feel like everything's crushing you down and it's difficult to deal with. Um now, I, now this this happens a lot. Like my my first response to this is I mute those horrible people. Yeah, that yeah. is the best thing to do. Yeah. Mute slash report if you can. Yeah. Mute. Just mute. I'm a big believer in the report button in online games. Yeah. I think that, like, lots of games don't have a good robust system for this. It's kind of report, and then yeah. if you put people in a low priority queue, then you're just putting, like, terrible people together with terrible people. But at least then they're not in your game. Yeah, absolutely. And, and more games should have that. You know, and I think Counter Strike's a bit old now, so it doesn't have yeah. those kind of features. But I, I wish you could almost just always be recording and record the things people say and do and like and send it somewhere. Upload it to Blizzard or yeah, Valve yeah. or whoever. Yeah, that but, would be great. The the other thing that I do though, because I'm I am a believer that yeah. that at at their core, most people are not horrible. Yeah. And that this is just we have allowed this community to develop. That you, I go either if I if I'm not in the mood, I just ignore. But often I go on relentless positive attack. Yeah. Like if someone is <laughs> trolling me or someone in the team, then I am the guy who's like, all right, guys, let's work together and figure this out. And I always try to treat the troll like I'm like, okay, what do you want to do in this situation? Like, do you want to like you say I suck yeah. and you say that I suck various body parts of different people, and it's like, all right. That may be true, but now let's talk about whether or not you want to ward the river or go take their tower. Like, what do you want to do in this situation other than insult me? And I do find that a lot of the time, positivity yeah. can generally like clamp down on the negativity and that you're teaching these people that ignoring them is just going to like, just let them stew. Yeah. But like actually trying to tr retrain their brains and their behavior uh, is a good, and like you, mm -hmm. you're a very positive person. Oh, thank I you. feel like you know, you just laugh over those comps, you can get that team going. I try, but I let it, it gets to me still, yeah. you know. Uh, that's a much more adult way of dealing with it than the way that I do normally. Yeah. Um, like, I do the mute thing if it's, like, too bad. You know, mm -hmm. it's horrible stuff, I don't want to deal with it. But mostly, I just go, I'm sorry you have to go to school tomorrow, mate. You know? <laughs> and then I say, I'm sorry. Uh, I might just sleep in till 10 tomorrow if I want to. And I'm so, But I'm so sorry you've got to remember what Cos, Tan, and Sign are. I mean, what the hell are they? In polynomial long division and read Harp in the South, the most boring thing that has ever touched my hands that I don't have to read now, but you have to read that tomorrow and then write about it. I'm sorry, mate. And that actually gets them to shut up usually. But I do think, <laughs> I do think to answer James, I, like I would say I'm the, of the opinion that being the positive force on the team uh, is is the best way to do yeah. it. But then, but then there is some trolling. You know how you brought up good trolling? Yeah. Like posters of you around the office, which I would debate whether or not that's good or yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes you have to, I have to just admire because there's people harassing in games, but sometimes I have to admire the troll who, you know, does the thing like we spoke about uh, with Gus. Uh, we were talking about this in Adelaide in our live shows. 
uh, where you were playing Daisy, yeah. <laughs> uh, and and that you you know put Gus in the back of your car yeah. and he falls asleep and you drive yeah. him out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, he, he fell asleep in the car actually. Yeah. And yeah, we just drove and we're like, he's asleep, isn't he? We just jumped out and let the car roll off a cliff. In the same way That's that fun. that you got driven in Battlefield or something, you got driven to yeah. the edge of the map and, yeah. and someone just like hopped out of the car, walked around, shot you through the windshield and yeah. walked away. Yeah. And that you have to admire like <laughs> that someone has gone so out of their way of their own game to ruin your experience. So I would say for that kind of trolling, then you just, you know, appreciate it that someone's being kind of creative and go play a new game, you're gonna get another match or whatever. For the horrible people, report and and try to be a positive person. Don't take the bait and, and yeah. you know, yell, yeah. yell at yes. children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is one other thing you can do. Oh yeah. And that is just be good. Like just be great. Sometimes at the game. you can turn it around. Yeah. You know, like I only use Uzis in Counter Strike, which yeah. everyone laughs at because they're stupid weapons. But I've been playing the game so long, I just don't care. Yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty good with the Mac 10, right? So like when I start and I'm used to do like three rounds in a row with the Mac 10, and everyone's like, "Don't use the Mac 10. Use real gun. Get an AK, whatever." And suddenly I'm at the top of the board, and I'm like getting all these kills. Then the other teams start turning on the troll. Like, no, he's good. Let him use the Mac 10. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other way. I feel like you have taken on the soul of the troll. Your advice <laughs> to James was get good. Like, like, stop <laughs> sucking James and then you won't get harassed. All right, that is it for the talk through. What do you guys do to counter trolls or bad behavior in video games? Let us know in the comments. Have you ever eaten donuts in a shower? What do you eat in the shower? Also, let us know in the comments. And while you're on the internet, check out Good Game on Facebook, YouTube, and iView. Want to be fellow Pocketeers? Then join the Pocketeers Facebook group and Steam group. You can follow Good Game on Twitter at Good Game TV. Follow Pocket and Nick Boy up here at AGD at Monkey Nets and Geek. He's that budget pens, and there are links to everything I just said in the description below. Today's thing of the day graphic was made by Katishi Honey. Katishi, I'm saying your name correctly. If you've made a thing, like hopefully Katishi, please send it in tonight on the show. ABC2, 8.30 p.m. Good game. Yes, 8.30 p.m. ABC2, ABC Secret Channel. We are doing Riders of Icarus. Yep. Where I tame a spotted cow. Interesting. And I look fabulous. And also Headlander, we take your heads off as a puzzle game. Kind of a roguelike, missing some roguelike. But it's still pretty good. It's by Double Fine. Yeah, good. Cool. And I also have a first look at Elder Scrolls Legends, the new CCG by Bethesda. Did and you like it? Uh, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Spoilers. For, you don't need to watch anymore. Don't worry about those ratings. Uh, and Goose also has an IMO on Pokemon Go. Very timely considering everyone's now angry because mm. it got updated. Mm. Alright, that's it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocket Tears. Until tomorrow, Nick. Bye. You kept it together. <laughs> <very proud of. laughs> Don't look at me. He's at Budget Pants, and there are links to everything I just said in the description below. Today's thing of the day graphic was made by Katishi Honey. If you've made a thing, please send it in tonight. ABC Two, <laughs> eight thirty. So Why are you laughing? <laughs> Because you're really laughing. <laughs> this is real. This is in you. What happened? Oh, I don't know what happened. I was just thinking, who's James? For a while, and then I started laughing. <laughs>